Wow, look at those parts. Wow. <laughs> right, let's turn it round. Get it set up. So that should be coming over this way. There we go. And of course. Hey guys, this is Santa Gaza in Global Studio. You know uh, radars and things where you got uh, where you look at a screen and you got a it's like a two D uh, picture of your surroundings and things. Basically, what I've been designing is something like that, but in three D. So if I actually run the code now, this box in front of us is actually the scanner. And what we actually got on the scanner is what's around this craft. So what I've done is I've worked out where the craft center point is in uh, what's the word in relation to the scanner itself. So we're right in the center. That part there is basically that and we got a brick shooter in the workspace which is uh, which I'll show you in a minute it's just uh, a script that creates a lot of bricks it's just a just something just testing sort of thing then we got a scan a uh, spawn location and we'll get into actually game in a minute it also works with showing where the players are as well so if I zoom right in this is really really in its infancy at the moment so you've got spawn location there. I don't know if you can see that on YouTube rendering, but whatever. Base plate, which is what this craft is sitting on, and that brick shooter. So if I enable the brick shooter, if I go to go to it, we should see it start creating a lot of parts and shooting them out that way. So it's just a really basic thing, and that's that's the code behind it. So if I Play it, and then we go back into the actual scanner. We should see those parts on the scanner, like so. And if I rotate it, there we go. So now we're firing the bricks up. I've also made it so you can actually. Uh, Sort of zoom in and zoom out, sort of thing. I need to get into game for that. Right, so let's get into game. And we should see me on the scanner. It's quite. I might not keep it as uh, as three D. I might even put it back to two D, like a two D flat plane, but then have three D points like uh, in three D uh, space sims, sort of thing. Let's try that again. Did not load. I seem to be having trouble with loading my character. There we go. Right. So this ship is just something from three models that I've just downloaded. So it's not my model, it's just a stand-in for now. I'll hopefully be later when I'm making that space game. I'll be making my own. So, yeah. I've uh, got a few examples. I'm sort of using this as a test bed, this, sh this craft. So... There I, there I am. So I don't know if you can see that. Let's actually zoom in. I can get it down there. There we go. We're zooming in. Right. So that's as far as we can zoom in. 
and it's updating in real time as you, as you saw earlier so the way I'm sort of getting the center point of all the parts of the models is I'm getting all the parts of the model and then getting all the positions of the parts in the side of the model let's just say me all these parts then I'm counting up how many parts there is inside each model and then dividing that by how many parts for the X, Y and Z to get the average or the mean position if you like for the X, Y and Z the other thing I've been working on is a way of uh, you know ships have got uh, sort of uh, engines and things where you have to change a lot of stuff to get changed colour and the look of the craft of the engines well these engines is something that I'm making where you can actually change the colour on the fly if you like at the moment they are black it's really really basic so all I need to do to change them or to turn them on is to do that change that color to I don't know that's a good color that's a good color so I might release this code for the engine outside out uh, I don't know depends if I can get enough uh, demand for it if you like so basically it's using a beam and a particle emitter and of course the engine itself is just a neon brick if you like so these engines are looking at that no that sorry on each of the engines they can have as many engines as we like and this main uh, script is looking through its engines group for a part name engine and then it's looking for my color so every time when you update that it updates that one that one and of course that one so it updates all of them if you like that that one's not not necessary for the actual code the code itself is this bit now just be interested if you can actually get a multicolored engine yeah I thought as much because it's uh, changing it there you go oh there we go so let's move that out of the way yeah so it just changes the color of the actual emitter and things and of course when you change the global one it changes it back there you go so anyway let's get back to the scan uh, the scanner itself so the way I am actually uh, drawing the points inside the scanner I've made myself a little uh, radar object folder and if you ever make multiple or one item they're all named the same where that would be a problem for my scanner so what I've done is I'm generating a key for each of the parts inside the workspace or inside the model if you like and then that returns a random key string so basically it goes through every time I call that it returns a key basically of length of six characters so if you know your string sub it's basically looking at the key sequence and then I'm using a math round for the index and then just adding that to the key a really really basic key generator generator even so if I run the code we have a look inside this folder we should see uh, the different uh, the name of the things plus the key there we go so and of course that is just the name and things so if I actually fire up this brick shooter and look this there we go and of course I'm also handling the cleanup so when 
the parts that get uh, deleted from the workspace, it also gets deleted from the uh, the folder and thing. And this is facing the way. Blimey. Behave. <laughs> I guess it wants to be there, so whatever. Yeah, so um, it's still very uh, in its infancy at the moment. So what you see at the moment is what you get, basically. <laughs> so what I'm hoping to do eventually is po possibly make a horizon inside of here and maybe have a line going towards that horizon so you can see if it's above you or below you rather than what the way I've got it at the moment like so and the area of the scan which might change in the future is basically the size of this box just scaled up I may change that into a sphere later for easier for a bit easier way of uh, working it out the other thing that I had to come over or get over or work out should I say is you know region 3's if you know them you know that they cannot be rotated this I had to work out how to rotate a region 3 or fake fakely doing it if you like even if, if that's even a word so there's a few little scripts I did not actually work out myself but I sort of worked out a way of actually doing it sort of thing I don't know if I've got it still this might be an old uh, copy of this uh, scanner ah here we are yeah so this is basically someone else's code that I've just copped in if you like and yeah yeah just cut cut up uh, a big module script for the two functions that are needed so that just works out how to rotate a region 3 if you like or should I say a fake way of doing it the region 3 is still the box aligned to the grid but it's just working out the distance of each part and if it's within the rotated box like a fake box it's actually quite complex stuff <laughs> as you can see there so as for if I change the subject just slightly for information about my channel it might have gone quiet for now it's just because I've become rather busy in uh, in real life with sorting out uh, basically my life if you like but hopefully soon I'll be back to normal I don't know when though I keep on saying that I know that <laughs> so yeah so that's what I wanted to show you what I've been working on and of course this ship I don't know who made it pros to whoever made it or just say uh, cookies to whoever made it there you go <laughs> and eventually hopefully I'll be making ships and things with my dog and humps the scanner among other things as well and hopefully I'll have uh, a new game out if you like by the end of uh, whenever by the end of eternity there we go so I've got ages <laughs> anyway this has been Tikaza in Robot Studio on my I guess scanner 3D scanner and at the moment I won't be releasing the code behind this at the moment I'll probably end up developing it a bit further and then maybe on the later date I'll probably release the code so you guys can actually play around with it so anyway let's actually do this for an outro wow look at those parts wow <laughs> right let's turn it round get it set up so that should be coming over this way. There we go. And of course. Whee! <laughs> anyway, see you later, guys. <laughs>